Aloha, my name is Kale Aloha Mano. Aloha. I'm Lisa Chandler. And I am a product of uh, Nimitz Bridge. Um, my testimony is in regards of um, the bill. Uh, me and my ancestors and my queen is totally against it and won't, wouldn't, wouldn't um, approve of it because it has to do with human beings. Um, in regards to me being homeless, I've been homeless majority of my life. Um, I'm a survivor, and most of the people down the bridge are survivors too. However, um, affordable housing, um, that's a great plan, but because we've been on the streets so long, um, I think a couple of tents, some shade, um, facilities and water, and an area to eat and cook, Basically, I think we'd be happy. And, and rules and regulations. But as a community, Waikiki is different. Everybody's on their own. Down at Nimitz, we all know each other. We're a community. We're a family. Um, and I have another testimony regarding the sweeps. Um, I've witnessed uh, on my, with my own eyes, and I have a witness that was with me at the time. It's not her, it was somebody else. But I've witnessed um, city and county employees having two trucks during the sweep. One truck is to put what they feel that had valuables in it, bags, suitcases, and one employee goes through it, takes what they think would be valuable or what they want, and then tosses the bag to the next truck, which dumps it. I have been zero balanced, which means everything was taken from me that I owned. Even, even a thief would not do this to me or have ever done this to me. But in one hour, the city and county and the sheriff's department has taken everything that I've owned, everything that I've owned from me. I had to start all over again. And this is just my story. There are a number, numerous other people that have the same story but different endings. And this is what the city and county and the sheriff's department has done to me personally but if you guys you guys need advice or you guys need some to help you guys out you guys should talk talk to the homeless people there's people out there they, they can come with come up with some suggestions for you guys that you guys wouldn't even know because you guys was never homeless you guys was never homeless so you guys wouldn't know but there's people out there you guys can talk to they're willing to talk to you guys and help you guys out and come up with a solution because there is a solution i believe in my heart that there is a solution to this I wonder why I'm so home. I'm homeless for so long, and why am I stuck here? When I'd rather be somewhere else. And only, only my God, only Keokua knows. And I think this is the reason, because I would never be here speaking on a microphone to you guys. And I think that's why. I know I always had to do something for the homeless. I thought it was gonna be cooking, because that's what I love doing. But maybe it's this. My name is Kale Aloha. It is the voice of love. Hello for your testimony. And Members, I, any questions? Any questions? Okay. And I came because I think that more people should stand up. And, you know, if more people stood up and stood together, less of this would be happening. I came here six months ago with what I thought was more than enough money to get a place and go ahead and get a job. But I, right after I got here, um, found out that everything was so atrocious and there was no affordable housing. I'm on every housing list. I signed up for everything I could. I will not go into the shelters. Right after I got here, I have bug phobia, by the way, but um, right after I got here and then I moved into a park and was hit by a sweep, which took everything. I had, they said, Five minutes. You have five minutes. We, they woke us up. You have five minutes. Grab what you can carry. Don't even bother trying to get your tent. Because we're just going to pull the tent stakes and carry the whole thing with us. Because I have a boyfriend. We're just going to carry it, the whole thing with us. And they said, no. You leave the tent, take what you can carry, and go. And that's happened to me twice now. <coughs> I have gotten food stamps and financial and am building to you know, have put money away. But I was hit again by another sweep. Now have no tent, no nothing. After we rebuilt, 
because we got our financial and we got a little bit of money ahead. So we got a new tent, we got a tent stove, we got the sleeping bags built back up, but it wasn't two weeks later, they took everything again. And there's just no way to get ahead. I thank you and I didn't come here to cry. Thank you for your testimony. Members, any questions? Thank you.